I see dust of gold falling. And the Lord said, I am releasing supply to meet financial needs. Financial needs. Financial needs. Financial needs. I see dust of gold falling in this place. I will not be surprised that before the service is over, some of you in your palms, on your skin, on your dress, you will see particles of gold and dust all over this place. Some of you may see it on your shoe. I will be surprised because I see it released. I see an apple. I see a release. I see supply. Receive supply. Receive supply. Receive supply. Receive! a sign. It is a sign. Some people say that signs and wonders have ceased. Hebrews 2 verse 4. It's a God himself witness with them in miracles, in signs, and in wonders according to the will of the Spirit and by the gifts he gave to them in his own pleasure. This morning as you are seated, something supernatural is taking place around you. You may not feel it. You may not see it. But it is happening. And I pray in agreement with you. Let it manifest. Let it manifest. Let it manifest. Let it manifest. We see manifestation. He said that Lord will bless Even 
eat the pests that will attack the cocoa plant will be attracted because of the seed. So the demons that are coming around you and attacking you, it is only because of one thing. The blessing of the Lord that is in your spirit, that has been placed in you, that is why they are attacking you. Thank God for it. Thank God for it.
Now, some people will say, What is the blessing of God? What is the blessing? The, both the Hebrew and the Greek words of the word blessing means words spoken. <laughs> words spoken. So I have come here as a servant of the Lord to say to you that you will succeed, yeah. that you will excel, yeah. that you will make it, that you will be fruitful, that you will increase, that you will expand. This is not where you belong. Expansion is coming, growth is coming, increase is coming, growth is coming. The Lord is establishing you.
of Jesus. Hindrances have been taken off. Blockades have been destroyed. This morning, anything that looks like a mountain will be under your feet. For the Lord shall lift you up and you shall walk on that mountain. I declare over your life every evil wind ceases right now. Whatever that is going on that you are not comfortable with, I speak as a servant of the Lord. And I proclaim the blessings of the Lord that it shall not continue. It shall not continue. It shall not continue. Affliction cease. Disease go. Hardship go. you and succeed. For the word of the Lord declares he shall disappoint the devices of the crafty and he shall prevent them from succeeding with the works of their hands. This morning I pray with you by the blessings of the Lord no evil shall prosper around you. No spell shall stand around you. No work shall work around you. No craftiness will succeed for you are blessed of the Lord. Can you walk to me here? If you are part of the National Service, BCS, Batch, Moyodo, Shanta Halikat. Listen, as you come into the real world, corporate world, you will realize that you are so many, 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 many years behind some of the people who inspire you in the sector you want to come into. And this morning, I want to pray that the grace of God will come upon you so that it will not be how many years that you will stay in the profession or how many years that you are going to do it. It shall not be by who you know. It shall be advantage by God. Some of you are supposed to start your own. And I speak over your life. That the Lord will empower you. The Lord will strengthen you. The Lord will give you a dream. The Lord shall inspire you. Receive it now. When someone met with Saul, and Saul was leaving his presence, Saul was short of so many things. Money. That is why he didn't want to go and see the prophet. Because he said he can't go to the prophet empty handed. Mm. He took Saul's servant, his armor bearer, to carry 30 pieces of silver to go and give to someone. But as he was leaving, somehow called Saul and he said, As you leave my presence, you will meet a band of prophets. They will be prophesying, they will be declaring. Destiny filled words. The Spirit of God will come upon you and you shall also prophesy. He said, You will meet the band. One will carry bread, one will carry wine, one will carry meat, and they shall give you a portion. I declare over you as your service comes to an end, receive supply, divine supply, divine supply, divine supply. And then he would come to the place called Rachel's Sepulchre, where you have the tree at Tabor. Rachel's Sepulchre, the tomb, represents favor, the preferred one. Because Jacob preferred Rachel to Leah. That is why he served 20 years for one woman. As you are living, as you are ending, the Lord shall favor you. Amen. I don't know if you understand this prophecy. The Lord shall favor you. The Lord shall favor you. The Lord shall favor you. Put your right hand. You are the reason we organize this meeting. As for those who are already established, I pray with you that God's hand will rest upon you. 
You are released unto greatness. Amen. Fulfill your destiny. Amen. Fulfill your purpose. Amen. What your father and your mother couldn't do, I release you to do it. Do more than that. Work in a higher dimension. In the name of Jesus. Finances won't be an issue. Marriage won't be an issue. Health won't be an issue. Serving the Lord faithfully shall not be an issue. For the Lord is anointing you and empowering you to walk in your mandates. Some people have served in other companies or institutions. They wish they had finished long time. But you are ending with a blessing coming upon you. Amen. You will add to the goodness in the society. Amen. You shall not add to the corruption and the social vices and the decadence in the society. You shall bring a change. Amen. The Lord shall receive pleasure through your lives. Amen. I release this blessing over you. Amen. Father, we bless this word to speak life over it. As we take portions, let your spirit remain upon us. In Jesus' name. Over. Just take a portion. So you anoint your head. And then you take this. You don't take this. And then you pass it around. Anoint your head. Quickly. Those of us that are in the people, everybody make sure you take a portion of the oil. There's a thing that I, in the people, I want you to lift up your hand. Lift up your right hand. Thank you, Jesus. Lift up your right hand. My name is Song Zoo. It's a very strong attack on you financially. The reason is because there is a mandate the Lord is giving to you to fulfill in terms of a project that is going to be a blessing. And the enemy has sat and said that no, it won't happen. But God said to me to tell you this morning that it shall happen and another one will happen and another one will happen. The Lord will settle you financially. If you are here and your finances have become some way, yes. receive help from the Lord yes. in the name of Jesus. Yes. There is a trumpet, receive a trumpet, very small, and it's hanging there, very dusty. And the Lord said, Tell him he must blow this trumpet. The Lord said, Tell him that as I touch his eyes, his eyes will open. He will see the trumpet. He will dust the trumpet. He will value the trumpet. And as he blows the trumpet, people from far shall hear my voice. The Lord will use you to speak his word, to announce his will, to declare his intentions. You must be ready and available and say, Lord, oh, in my eyes, small trumpet, but as it was blown, I could hear people from far, people from all the regions of God, they were hearing the voice of the Lord. Can you step for your hand towards me?
May the Lord visit us. There are issues on people's hearts. I see the Lord touching. I see a hand touching people's hearts. The Lord said, I'm taking care of your case. I'm taking care of your issue. I'm taking care of your own. Can I have somebody follow me? I'm taking care of that which is yours. For I have taken my own time that I will handle this issue in my own way on your behalf. Receive a touch from the Lord. Receive a touch from the Lord. Any issue that is on your heart that requires a touch from the Lord, let it be touched by the hand of God. Receive deliverance. Receive your healing. Receive your release. Receive your touch. establish you. Let the Lord strengthen you. Amen. I saw a very dark garment with some symbols in it. In fire or on fire. And the Lord said, any strange spirit that has been hovering around in our offices, it has caught fire. Amen. They will not reign anymore. Amen. They will not rule anymore. Amen. Occultism will reign. Secret societies will reign. Darkness shall not reign. For the fire of the Lord has come upon it and is burning now. I connect it to your home. I connect it to your family. I connect it to your life. Any darkness, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, now! Thank you, Jesus. Grab your seat or your offering or your whatever you took the envelopes for. Grab it quickly. Your dream patterns are going to change. The Lord is going to give you strong assurance. Between now, please watch it, between now and September 9th, something is going to happen. And it will happen to you in the sleep. And when you have woken up, all I need you to do, go on your knees and bless the Lord. Because the Lord has changed something significantly in your life. Lift up my offering. Say, Father, Father this is my offering. That I'm giving to thank you for the blessing you have placed upon me. As I release it, anything locked in the spirit that must be released, let it be released now. Pray a little, lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice, declare, 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 release. Some of you, your health is released. Some of you, some money that has been lost is released. Some of you, your ministries are released. Release, release. Your children, oh, beautiful. I see three children that have been packaged nicely put here. Receive your portion. Spiritual gifts have been activated. Abilities and endowment. Receive yours. Receive yours. Receive yours. Receive yours. Receive yours. Joy from the Lord. Joy from the Lord. Joy from the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Come forward and drop it. Somebody follow her. Somebody should follow her. They don't do their washes. Can you give me back to them? Hold it in your two hands. Like a holy baby. Dropped it, the Lord said, You dropped your baby, pick it up. It is yours. Whatever it takes to walk in this blessing is already released. 